Natasha and uh, you know welcome back so today we're gonna continue our chapter number two uh, relations and functions so you know we were discussing about the topic Cartesian product of sets isn't it uh, which we can also say cross product of sets yeah so you know like uh, in this video uh, we're gonna discuss about its properties that that I told you in the last video also, like in the previous video also. So let, let's just uh, discuss about the properties, okay? So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, we have, a, our, uh, first of all, we're going to write the properties. So the first one properties that, uh, the first one property that I'm gonna write is, uh, you know, related to our, you know, the last, you know, related to the, example that that i took uh, uh, you know for the cartesian product of sets if you remember i hope you haven't forgot it so uh what was it so let's just write its properties its properties its properties is going to be so that uh, like we'll have three to four properties that i'm going to discuss in this topic and uh, so let's discuss about it oh uh, never mind yeah, so the first one property that we're going to have is really common, like in uh, like most cases, in most type of sets or whatever we have. So first one is that the Cartesian product, the Cartesian product is non-commutative, non-commutative. Okay, so the Cartesian product is non-commutative, which means that it is, it doesn't like it, the Cartesian product doesn't follow the commutative law, which I can say that, uh, which I can say that it is non-commutative, uh, non which means that A cross B is not, is not equal to B cross A. And remember that these all are sets, not the vectors. Because if they're going to be vectors, like I'm going to put this symbol, you know, just above those uh, alphabets or whatever we have. Okay, but uh, like, unfortunately, we don't have any vector because we're discussing uh, the topics of, you know, especially the mathematics. So what we are discussing about is exactly math, not physics. Okay. Okay, so, and you can also see through the example that I, you know, just took it, like, uh, I can also write it again. So, for example, just related to this uh, point, you know, this property that, uh, yeah, so let's say set A is equal to the element. Okay, so I'm going to take it like a short one, okay, which is going to be similar to the that, to the, that one, that example. So, uh, let's say we have... Uh, two elements, one and two, and then set B is equal to the element X, only and only X. So what do we have to find? We have to find A cross B and B cross A, okay? So the first part, the first part is going to be A cross B. The second one we'll have is B cross A. Here, here I'm going to use is equal to in these braces. Yeah, so first is A cross B. So as we can see that in set A we have two elements. And in set B we have only and only one element which is X. Okay, um, so what else exactly that in A cross B is equal to the elements 1 and 2, which means that we're going to first of all make their pairs and there, there should be like ordered pairs, okay? Remember the ordered pairs, okay? So it's going to be 1 and 2, so which means that first of all I'm going to do 1 with X and 2 with X, that's it. Because like we have only one element in set B and that's what, you know, and from the X like we can make pairs. Uh, related to them okay so uh, it's going to be equal to one comma x and yeah always remember to put it on the second place because we're talking about first of all set a first of all set a so the elements of set a will come first and then the uh you know elements of set b so uh first pair we have is one x second pair that we're going to have is two x that's it only so how many pairs we have how many pairs only two pairs good 
So let's talk about B cross A. So B cross A is going to be similar to that one. It is going to be, first of all, X with 1, then X with 2. Isn't it? And in this one also we have two pairs, like exactly same to the first one we just saw. Okay, so what exactly we can see that their orders are different. So I can say, I like in some case, if we have the same number of pairs plus the same elements, but their orders are like, uh, you know, different, which means that they're not going to be equal to each other. Okay, because like uh, in the Cartesian product, we mainly talk about the ordered pairs that we can write. So as we can see that, uh, like in this one, we uh, first one, first of all, set B was there. So uh, I wrote the elements of set B first, and then uh, with the you know all the pairs that are possible with the with the uh, set A, as we can see it in the last place. That's what we have. So the order that we're gonna maintain it. Okay. So through this example, we can, I can say that A cross B is not equal to B cross A, but but there are some like possibilities that a cross b is can be equal to like it's going to be like can be equal to uh, b cross a so it's going to be our third property that i'm gonna write that i can say that a cross b is equal to b cross a i can say that uh, that a cross b can can be equal to uh can be equal to said uh b cross a only only if set A is equal to B. And that's what we have. So just, you know, let's just like, uh, you know, talk about it. So what is it trying to say? So it is trying to say that uh, we can say that A, uh, like the Cartesian product of those sets are going to be equal to each other, like in the commutative form we have, but only if they're equal sets. Like if the sets are equal to each other, which means they can be equal to each other, like their Cartesian product. But but if they're not equal sets, like if the sets are, are not going to be equal to each other, if the sets are not equal to each other, then what we will say is that A cross B is not equal to B cross A. So let's say, let's take an example in this property also. So in this property, I'm going to take a really easy, easy example. So let's say that we have set A is equal to the element um, 0, 1, and 2. Okay, exactly same. If, uh, if I... Uh, you know, if you have, like, watched all the, like, uh, yeah, if you have watched the last one, you know, the set topic that we discussed, you know, I used that same, uh, that same, uh, you know, number of sets, like, whatever the uh, elements were, I used those same elements right here. But, you know, I just got it randomly in my mind, so I just wrote it. That's it. But it doesn't matter, okay? Because it's related to the uh, point that we have right. So that, you know, that I just wrote. So that doesn't matter. Okay. If it's the same or the different or the new one, whatever. Okay, so set A is equal to the element 0, 1, and 2. And, and set B is equal to uh, the elements 0, 1, and 2. So can I say... So let's say show that A cross B is equal to B cross A. We have to show that their, their Cartesian product is equal to each other, which means that A cross B is equal to B cross A. So first of all, let's, you know, just uh, find out. Okay, so A cross B, first of all, A cross B. So I'm going to make their pairs, which are going to be exactly same. Like, oh yeah, it's going to be actually a little bit more lengthy. Like it's going to be really big, but yeah, we'll just write it. Whatever. I don't care. So A cross B. So first of all, the pair with 0 and 0, which is going to be 0 comma 0. I'm going to write it fastly because like a... Uh, now it's like common for us, like it's really easy for us to write the, you know, the pairs. So let's write it. So 0 to 1 and now 0 to 2. So now, uh, so let's write the next one, which I'm going to be with the 1. So yeah, from the 1. So let's write 1 with the 0. Oops. Yeah, 1 with 0. Then one with the uh, one, 
then one with two, then the two, two with zero, two with one, and two with two. Okay, so this is the owl. I can, get, I can say that it's a little bit big, but that doesn't matter. Uh, what I'm going to show you is actually the, uh, you know, the elements are going to be exactly same to each other. No matter, like, uh, either it's big or not. Okay, so uh, with the zero one, with the zero, zero is going to be with the zero. Exactly same. Zero comma zero, like the origin we have in x axis and y axis. <laughs> okay, whatever. So now with the one, the uh, zero. Yeah. The one with zero. And now the two with zero and now the one oops okay so we've done one, zero with zero one with zero or uh, two with zero so now we're gonna do the zero with zero sorry zero with one so zero one zero um oops I again, again got it wrong yeah, it's just a little bit like confusing, but whatever. I'm gonna like write it slowly, okay? Uh, yeah. So whatever. Okay, zero comma one, and uh, now the one. Okay, so we're taking this uh this one with all the okay we have so zero with one done now one with one. Okay, and uh, then and then we have. Uh, one with two isn't it so oh yeah just wait a second let me check my camera is it like on uh, focus or not then we'll continue writing the elements okay so it's clear so let's continue yeah so one with two and uh, now yeah one with two so let's just not get confused so uh, we have done one, uh, you know, one with one, two with one. Uh, wait a second. Yeah, one with one, two with one. Yeah, uh, the, you know, remember to uh, follow the order that, the, you know, that's like mainly important we have. So, it's going to be two to one, as we can see. Now we have uh, zero with two. And uh, one with two and two with two, isn't it? That's it. So, how many pairs do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pairs. Oh, that's like a lot big. And how many pairs in this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Same number of pairs that we're gonna have and now let's just have a look at the you know at the uh, at the elements are like are they exactly same or not the pairs that we made zero with zero zero with one zero with um uh, two one with zero one with one one with two which is right here two with zero which is right here two to one done two to two so we've done all the things and we can see that all the elements are same so that's how i can so therefore uh therefore i'll say therefore a cross b is equal to b cross a as like as yeah you know as they are equal sets as they're equal sets as as there are equal sets okay so uh, th uh, these were the two properties now let's move on to our third property that i'm gonna write uh right here yeah now the third property we have is uh, actually it's like this way uh let just wait a second 
Okay, and the fourth property that we have is um, okay. Let's just first of all discuss the. Oops. Oh, uh, wait a second, please. Um, just wait a second. Yeah, yeah, let's continue. Okay, so where are we? Yeah, so I'm just going to write the, uh, let's just discuss the fourth, uh, third property we have. Then, then I'm going to move on to the fourth property, okay? Okay, so do you know what the third property is about? It is about the cardinality of the Cartesian product. Uh, you know, is you know, which is actually defined as the number of elements in A cross B, A cross B, and and uh, is equal to the product of cardinal cardinality of both sets, as we can see. So what we can see is that the cardinality of the cross product of their set, which is A cross B, is equal to the cardinality of like they're both separated so which i can say uh, which i can say that like they're in a uh, like uh, they're uh you know in a simple language like in simple way i'm gonna say that they're like together with you, with each other and uh, they're actually going to be equal to the what uh the product of the both the sets we have you know it's going to be equal to the product of of the cardinality of both the sets so this is how we're gonna write it like this way so a cross b is equal to the separated uh uh a like uh like we usually say in physics like mod a mod b which is going to be like this uh so it's like this that way so uh you know it's just multiplied like the product we have so this is what this that was the third property we had and now the fourth property is Related to the empty set. Related to the empty set. Should I write? Okay, so let's write. So, uh, I can say that, I can say that A cross B is equal to phi. Either, uh, just wait a second. Yeah. Okay. So a into b is equal to, oh sorry, yeah, a cross b is equal to phi if, if either set a is equal to phi or set b is equal to, uh, phi, okay? Okay. So what is it trying to say? So if the cross product of these two sets is equal to an empty set, the, that is only possible uh, if if that A is an empty set or set B is an empty set. You know, like uh, that isn't like important that that the the you know the both the sets should be an empty set. No, if one of them are in the empty sets, this means that the Cartesian product is also you know the like it will be equal to an empty set phi we have isn't it what is it it's phi okay so which is like for the empty set we use basically which you have already discussed in the first chapter so those were the four properties you know of the car related to the cartesian product of sets and uh you know what so in the next video, like we're gonna we're gonna continue uh, in this chapter. I know whatever the topic is going to be, uh, we'll discuss it. So uh, see you in the next video, and uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day.